Good morning or good afternoon, wherever you may be, or good evening or good night. This is Jen at Jen's Arty Inclinations, a place to create, share and play. Hello, hello, hello. I'm doing the Simply Random Challenge, which is hosted by Junk Journal Inspirations. And these are the prompts for this week. Blue, food or cooking, sprayed paper scraps, labels and paint. All right, so to spray, I just decided to use some oxide ink sprays. And these are the little pieces that I'm making up. So you can see it's got the little tea kettle, so that's blue. And I made a lovely mess here, <laughs> but that's good. I could just soak it all up more. This uh, book sheet, I actually ended up spraying this more afterwards. I don't think you see that bit on camera. The front of this little card, it didn't hold the uh, ink as well, but it still ended up working. So I, know, I love how it swooshed about on the inside. Then I added some paint, of course, some watercolour paints. I was going to splatter, but I thought with the other sprays, I didn't need to. So I'm just defining it a bit and I'm using the water to, what do they call it? Activate the um, ink spray as well. So this just made it a lovely big swooshy blue swirly swishy swashy thingy <laughs> just I like how it ended up looks a bit strange here but yeah it ended up turning out really really well and I did notice that spraying that on top of the water did actually make it quite different to how it's like you don't see it on camera but when you do it in person it does make it really really different which is lovely anyway so I just like paying with playing with mess and paint and stuff so here I'm doing a bit more on the edge and the paint worked well instead of using the ink to edge like I normally do so in a second you'll see how I just went around the edge with the paintbrush just with the darker color oh what did I use I used cerulean I used cobalt blue and ultramarine so <laughs> just all the different blues but yeah that just gave it a bit of a definition because I'd rounded that corner on the little one just to make it stand out. All right, so here I'm scoring and yes, I am doing completely the most unsafe, dangerous way to do it by using the scissors because oh my, I couldn't find a single one of my bone folders and that was what was handy. But yeah, I wouldn't suggest you do that. But as you can see, all I did was I added some folds to make like a little matchbox kind of closure on this little one, which I thought was a bit cute. So what have we got? We've got the spray, we've got the blue, we've got the cooking theme because it's got all the coffee pots and there we go, that works. So I just found a little staple at the bottom. I mean, this is a normal size stapler, normal size staple, not stapler but that just holds it in place. And then I just finished it off with some scrap paper because obviously that's part of the challenge, scrap paper. And I really liked that little edge. It was a bit cool. So there you go, wrapped it round. School holidays here at the moment, so you may not get as many from me or you may get lots. It depends upon what happens with the kids. But anyway, and it's almost Easter, so that'll be probably interesting and busy. So I like that little coffee pot on the top and it actually helps close it. Like it's like a little lift on it. Anyway, another little piece of scrap paper behind. I couldn't find my um, other glue. So I'm using a modeling glue there, which is a UHU, which is great because it's fine, but it's not really the right thing for this project, but it will hold it all nice and strong. And then I am putting another bit of scrap paper on the top. Come on, Jen, you can do it. That's it. <laughs> All right. So I really thought this was quite cute, this little little piece that I had. And I just put a little bit of a really nice washi tape. I think I got that from Aunt Vera. So there it is. And you'll see what I did is I had these little kitchen labels. So perfect. They were labels. They were kitchen labels. They were stickers. Uh, it all kind of worked. So I thought they were really cute to make little holders for little labels that you use in the kitchen. Of course, they're just random ones that I had left over. So there you go. <laughs> and 
I did put an extra label on the front of this and I, I really like how this one... Well, I actually, I don't know. I just think they're all cute. I think whenever I use blues, I tend to like whatever is created, whether it's good or bad. Oh, I don't know whether that's a good thing. But anyway, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, I was just working at... I just wrote the word down labels before I wrote it on the label because... I just wanted to see how far it went. So all I did was I just thought handwriting it on, which is kind of funny because you've got the printed labels that you're using. But yeah, I thought handwriting it on, oh, you know, give it a bit of something rather than look for a word to put on it. And I actually really like the hand-drawn look. So I can even handle what my writing looks like in this piece. <laughs> oh, dear. So what have we done so far on the school holidays? It's been pretty chilled and relaxed, actually, which is good. It's just been busy. Although Jay Bear did go out to the zoo one day. He absolutely loves the zoo. But he's been enjoying doing a massive big puzzle uh, the last couple of days. So that's been fun. And I'm not looking forward to the end of it because I'm quite sure there is a puzzle piece missing, which I've been trying to prepare him for. But we'll see. We'll see. Oh, sorry. Back to the video. This one I just folded a book page to make a little cover because the top of these stickers they actually had a little edge that I could staple through and rounding the corners that just gave it a you know made it look like it was supposed to be like that and I don't know this was probably the simplest well no the one that I wrote labels on top of that was the edge of a envelope that I didn't have anymore so that one was probably the simplest one to do and here I'm just faffing with the design on the front you know how we all love faffing anyway I decided this time I didn't want to use that modeling glue again so I just used the double-sided tape that I see a lot of people using and I don't know I think it's okay it's good when you don't want to get your fingers messy it's fiddly to get the tape off this one holds really really well so it's great but I do prefer glue because I do like to get the glue to the edges of the piece. I think this is so cute the way that it turned out. That little coffee pot was actually from our trip to Singapore that hubby and I had, which was a lovely memory. It was only my second trip overseas and I loved going somewhere that was a bit different to Australia. My first one was to New Zealand and my overseas trips have all been with hubby when he's had to do work the first one was just a weekend and the next two were actual work conferences that he had to go to. And so that meant <laughs> he just did it in absolute luxury. But yeah, Singapore was amazing because one of my good friends who went with us, she actually grew up there. So she could really show us around and I loved catching all their different buses and networks and little train things and seeing all the different places and I could have spent a month there. It was just really, really wonderful. All right, so here I'm just doing the boring bit, which is doing the double-sided tape. And this is where double-sided tape is a pain. It takes so much longer when, anyway, you know, we're whinging about what small things. So this is almost finished. I'm just putting these little pieces of scrap paper down that are just leftover paper. I just went through my paper pot and grabbed some blue pieces and these are the ones I grabbed. It's still got the food theme, the paper, the what have we got sprayed, we've got labels. Yeah so it is really nice how it worked out. I'm really happy with it and I hope you enjoyed watching it. These were really quite fun to put together and I put them straight into my big journal because I just thought I've got to use these they're just awesome and really different to what I'd normally do because I don't normally do food themed things so this was really nice to put together I just decided to give it a little bit of extra strength I just taped the edges down on the actual folded paper so that's all I'm doing here it's a bit fiddly so yeah I really enjoy putting this together thank you again for everybody who comes along and watches and supports my channel by commenting or subscribing or liking it all really helps and these are the little finished pieces one two and three so everyone keep creating look after yourselves and i'll see you on the flip side you can like and subscribe below and as always keep creating see you next time bye